So I've just done, I've just done the 10 day Vipassana retreat. We're in Ireland. So, so this was my third one. So I did the first one in 2015. And that basically, I wasn't ready for it. I basically fought myself. There was no meditating. It was just me sitting there uh, crying. Basically, that's what it was. Uh, the second one was well, again I wasn't ready and again it was a fight basically the second run my mind went through this massive detox and the body the brain just started erupting and I basically out of the 10 days I spent five days detoxing so I couldn't meditate in that time I couldn't sleep I couldn't do anything so I finished that again because you know I'm a, I'm a finisher I never I never quit but again I didn't learn much apart from detoxing my brain now this third one Oh my God, this third one, I felt I was ready. And I came and I was ready. But I have to tell you, even on the first day, it took me by surprise. By the end of the first day, I was like, Jesus, that felt like a marathon. Is that I've got nine more days of this. Why am I putting myself through this? And the other thing I found that surprised me was that when I thought about in the morning, in the evening, when I thought about what I did during in the morning, the morning felt like yesterday or the day before it felt like like a whole world away so if it was like there were several days squeezed into one um, we now finished it uh, again for me it was a roller coaster ride some days i was doing so well i was like oh this is it i've conquered it i'm done i'm this is it and then the next day boom, i would lose it and i think i peaked on the eighth day and the eighth day everything just fell into place and at that point i thought that's it i'm done this is it. The next two days, I'm just gonna, I'm doing, I'm gonna float through this. But the next day it went down. So actually, for me, day nine and ten were not as good as day day eight. Uh, I find it harder. But what I had learned to do was let go. So on the eighth, ninth day, where I had problems meditating, I went, all right, fair enough. That's cool. I'm not gonna meditate. I'm just gonna sit here and observe my breathing so in, in two of the on day nine on two of the meditations I didn't do much I just sat there and I observed my breath that's all I did which is fine so and I, because I wasn't attached to it anymore and the other beauty was that I no longer cared about the pain the pain I by day nine and by ten, day ten I had uh, overcome the pain I had gone past the pain and so when I sat by the end of the hour, I didn't really feel like moving. It was like, it doesn't matter. I could say another five minutes, another 10 minutes, another 20 minutes, who cares? What I'm saying, so for me, so this is a message I wanted to get across. Uh, it's quite an important message. So I've done, a, as you probably know, if you're watching this video, I've done a lot of meditation retreats. I've done loads of seminars, all kinds of bullshit, right? Uh, this, the Vipassana one, I would call it as base level. This is like the foundation. This, all the other ones, Date with Destiny, awesome seminar. Not knocking anyway, amazing. But this sits on top. The Date with Destiny, UPW, which is Unleash the Power Within, Millionaire Mind Intensive, Landmark, all those things. The Journey Intensive as well. They, uh, they sit on top of Vipassana. So Vipassana is the foundation of your building. And then the, the walls, the roof, the windows, the doors, are those other seminars. They then allow you to create things on top of that. So Vipassana is the root, and then above the ground is the other seminars that then allow you to go in the direction you want to go and build the kind of brain you want. The thing I noticed with Vipassana meditation, which is very different from all the other meditations I've done, is Vipassana is quite heavy on the brain. Like I, in the first three or four days, I could feel my brain going, whoa, I need more energy here. You need to give me more power. And we have a group of here. Brilliant. That's all right. That's okay. Yeah. So give me more power, right? And but by day four, I think it was, my brain had upgraded itself, and I could now uh, see that uh, I had uh, I had more power and more brain power coming through. Uh, so the past night, it's almost like doing weight training for your brain. It's quite interesting. Whereas I found, you know, with the other meditation I've done, they weren't that taxing for my brain. This one is. Because here you're directing your mind. So, so that, that's the one point I wanted to get across. Oh, have you seen that group? Do you want to turn it around? Look. So if you have a rocket on your tail, Should we find out? Yeah, let's find out. So Vipassana is a practice. It's not. So, so if you're thinking of going to do Vipassana, I wouldn't do I wouldn't 
Google it too much. I wouldn't read up too much on it. I would just book it and go and do it. Just read their thing and what the things they want you to bring and that's it. Just turn up and do it. Don't worry whether you're ready or not or whether you think you can handle the pain. None of that matters. You just turn up and do it. Because Vipassana is like learning to walk. So now if you wanted to learn to walk, walking is actually quite a complex thing to do. Like if you were if you were studying walking, it would take you a long time because you'd be like, wow, there's complexities of walking, the balance and everything. It's huge, yeah? But our bodies do it. So, so if I was, if you were to learn to walk and you watched videos on walking, you read up on walking, you would never walk because you go, oh my God, this thing is so complicated. I'm never gonna try it. The only way to learn to walk is to try it. You get up, you fall, you get up, you fall, you, and eventually you learn to walk. And same with riding a bicycle. If you try to learn to ride a bicycle by reading books, by studying seminars, uh, courses, by um, watching YouTube videos, anything like that, at the end of it, you're still not gonna know how to ride a bicycle. The only way to ride a bicycle is to find a bike, get on it, fall off it, get on it, and keep doing it until you learn to ride a bike. And you'll just sort of figure yourself what, your way through that. And the is exactly the same. But it passed it's like learning to ride a bike or learning to walk. It's something you just have to come and do and you will fail many times, but that's all right. And eventually you'll learn to do it. And it is totally worth it. Vipassana is it's the equivalent of like me giving you like an elephant. And that elephant is now tied to you permanently. And you, wherever you, are, you go, the elephant has to go with you. Now, that elephant can either be your greatest asset if it's trained or it can be your greatest enemy if it's not trained if it's not trained and you you go into a village you could destroy the whole village but if it's a trained elephant you could rebuild the whole village that's how powerful it is it's yeah it's basically it's how to the person at its core it's a lot more than this the person at its core is learning to control your mind it's taming your mind once you can tame your mind, everything else becomes easy. Because if you can't, it doesn't matter what your goals are, what your ambitions are, where you're trying to get to, if you don't have mastery over your own mind, you are gonna fight. You're gonna struggle to achieve whatever it is you're trying to get to. I know, because I've been there. I do it all the time. It's, um, yeah, so it's a, it, it, that's why I think it's the foundation. Because it's, at its core, what it's trying to do is teach you how to control your mind, how to bring your mind under your control and how to you then uh, use that to direct what you want it to do. So that, that to me is the core of Vipassana. I mean, on top, above that, it's got many layers above that, infinite layers, and it will give you mastery of a control. Oh, by the way, if there are any journey practitioners on there, I'm also a journey practitioner. Um, so you know, a journey practice, you can do one journey practice and it removes one layer of bullshit. Well, one to two hour vipassana meditation in your own room a guided or you know your self-guided vipassana meditation i would say it's almost the equivalent of one journey intensive because it removes one layer of bullshit and of course we have many 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 layers and of course you know with journey intensive you need to do like 50 or whatever to get rid of all the layers of bullshit vipassana will be the same so what they recommend is you do one to two meditations a day and that will remove like one layer a day. So it's very powerful in that way. It's, it's an addition to the, the journey intensive. I know the journey intensive goes a lot further in other ways and direct directions as well, as does, Vip as does Vipassana, in, again, in completely different ways as well. And they are, but they are, but they're the core, that they're both doing very, something very similar. But the advantage of Vipassana at the core level is that as, an, as a bonus, it gives you control over your mind as well it gives you it allows you to tame your mind so that's what i wanted to say uh, so my name is calvin niles i came here to get some silence really um i came here to uh get some stillness and to really connect uh deeper within um what i got from it was uh a, a deep reset of my mind um i got a lot of peace um and uh, a connection to something bigger than, than me and so I'm grateful for this experience I would advocate anyone to do this doesn't matter what walk of life where you come from what you do what you haven't done 
everyone can benefit from such an experience is passion. Uh, this is Mahesh, you know, I came from Letterkenny up in the Lauta of Ireland. The first thing is uh, one of your friends suggested me about this course and I see it's really it's helpfully said. I just came with a blind thing, what it's nothing in the mind. But once I come up here, I really touch with the service by the people first place. I feel all the gratitude towards the people who served here. And first time I really enjoyed nature after my childhood. Really, I've seen the clouds, enjoying the clouds. Beautiful. And the mo most important, I felt one more important thing. I felt a lot of gratitude towards my wife. She came here for 10 days. <laughs> Definitely, it's a big thing. But the main thing I felt is uh, it brings in back you as you yourself. It brings out all the other things where like missing of clarity of thought or the dilemma or some something you know that keeps up all these things which are really coming up you and make you what you are. That's what my that's my feeling. Hi, uh, I'm Kishore. I'm from originally from Bangladesh, but I have been living in Ireland for a year. And uh, this is not my first Vipassana course, this is my second, but I started this course because uh, I wanted to concentrate my mind more so that I can uh, give more focus on my work. But after coming to this course, I get more than that. It's like, it's good, we all know that it's good to have <coughs> balanced mind all the time during our day-to-day -day life, but it's very hard to do when we are in practice so this course helped me to develop those criteria it's not like intellectual level but experiential level so that we can apply in our daily life hopefully i can apply this course in my real life and hopefully you will find it useful Phelan, but, um, well i mean who i am isn't important i suppose like this course is actually for everybody because i mean everybody needs to benefit themselves to be able to make themselves a better person and like recognize what flaws, what difficulties we have and learn the proper way to get rid of those things and to just move on in our lives and find, find happiness, find calm, find peace and remove misery really. Um, and of course like this just brings everything into focus and really makes everything seem possible and everything kind of clearer. Hello, my name is Kirill. I am from New York. I came to this course to learn this wonderful technique of Dhamma. When practicing Vipassana, I have to be patient and persistent. Patient and persistent. Thank you. Hi, I'm David from Dublin, Ireland. I've been doing meditation for quite a while and I came expecting a lot out of this and it was mind-blowing. It was challenging, so, so challenging, but amazing. And it was life-changing. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep going with this. It's amazing. Do it. Why did I come? I, I just, I needed things to change. I needed things to change for me. And did they change? They have changed, really changed. Brilliant. All right. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. So when Ireland is sunny, it's great. Thank you very much.